The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as Webb or JWST, is a scientific trailblazer that has revealed amazing details about stars, planets, galaxies, and other fascinating cosmic phenomena. In addition to setting new standards for scientific excitement, Webb is hailed as the venerable Hubble Space Telescope's replacement. Individuals from all around the world are exchanging photos or using raw data to create fresh insights. One year has passed since the formidable James Webb Space Telescope unveiled its first-ever historic image of the universe, shocking astronomers all across the world with its extraordinary detail. However, its most recent finding is a horrifying picture of the universe that we have never seen before. What has been found thus far by the James Webb Space Telescope is posing more questions than it answers for scientists. Join us as we explore how the James Webb Space Telescope captures the most terrifying image ever seen in history. The successor to the Hubble Telescope unveiled new information about star formation, galaxy mergers, and the early cosmos just one month after the initial photos were released. The pictures were breathtaking, revealing the universe in stunning detail. Since then, the number of discoveries has skyrocketed, providing scientists with an enormous data treasure mine. James Webb Space Telescope observations of cosmic tarantulas, record-breaking space smoke, stars on the verge of supernova explosions, and other incredible celestial objects have been documented. This satellite observatory's cutting-edge technology allows us to peer farther into space than before, revealing previously unknown details about the cosmos. A new era in astronomy has dawned thanks to the photos, which can be so detailed. As a way to commemorate the first year of the James Webb Space Telescope's operation, NASA released a picture that shows a tiny star-forming area in the Rho Afyuki Cloud Complex. The picture shows jets erupting from newborn stars as cosmic dust clouds of various colors collide. Molecular hydrogen makes up the red dust, and the presence of a circumstellar disk casts a shadow on a few stars, suggesting the possibility of planet formation in the distant past. The picture may show cosmic mayhem, but according to NASA, this stellar nursery is tiny and peaceful compared to others. Additionally, many of the young stars in this area are about the size of our sun or even smaller, making it the nearest star-forming region to Earth. This picture was captured by the main camera of the observatory, the Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, which captures cosmic images in two distinct infrared spectrums all at once. Furthermore, the Space Telescope has improved our knowledge of exoplanets, or worlds that orbit stars other than our Sun. James Webb is particularly good at looking at large, faraway galaxies. The Satellite Observatory discovered its first exoplanet, LHS 475b, at the beginning of 2023. The planet is 41 light-years distant and has a diameter comparable to Earth's. James Webb, according to NASA, is the sole operational telescope capable of classifying the atmosphere of Earth-sized exoplanets. According to the scientists in charge of the study team that made the discovery, the findings demonstrated how precise the telescope was, and rocky exoplanets are now a new frontier for astronomers to explore. After that, the James Webb Telescope found proof of long-gone galaxies that, from a theoretical standpoint, shouldn't have existed. Evo Lab of Swinburne University and his worldwide astronomical team have found six enormous old galaxies called Universe Breakers, and they have the potential to completely change the way we think about space. These massive galaxies may have come into existence between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang, according to the researchers' results earlier this year. The telescope's infrared sensors detected them. Through the use of these instruments, we are able to glimpse back in time around 13.5 billion years when stars and galaxies were much older. The enormous vastness of the universe breakers has left scientists bewildered. Galaxies in the early universe should have been 10 to 100 times smaller than that. Their calculations indicate that these six objects may be billions of times heavier than our sun. The sum of all the stars in one galaxy might be 100 billion times heavier than our sun. Does the thought of trying to understand something so massive give you the willies? Even though the majority of galaxies during this period are relatively tiny and are just expanding ever so slightly, some monsters reach adulthood far more quickly than others. It is unclear what would cause this or how it would function. 
Penn State University Astronomy and Astrophysics Assistant Professor and Study Co-Author Joel Leha expressed his astonishment at the discovery of a new category of objects formed at the Big Bang. The discovery that the development of huge galaxies started at the very beginning of the universe's history challenges many of our previously held beliefs about the state of science. It seems discovery is so out of the ordinary that it poses challenges to the scientific community. It throws into doubt the entire scenario of how galaxies formed in the early universe. Way more massive than anyone expected describes the things. All galaxies in the range are considered babies since they are still in the process of formation. However, galaxies that are as old as our own have been found in the early cosmos, which was previously thought to be its beginning. Spectrometry, which separates light into its component wavelengths to enable more accurate distance measurements, is still required to validate the results, which have scientists scratching their heads. There are only a handful of recently found objects for which distance and mass have been verified. If the data is accurate, galaxy creation had to have been considerably more efficient and rapid than what is now thought. The fact that spectra corroborated our standard operating systems-based inferences from the visuals is promising. For years, scientists have sought to decipher cosmic history. Nevertheless, a single piece of machinery may hold the key. Observations of space and time have long piqued the curiosity of scientists, so it is not surprising that conflicting facts presented by telescopes might lead to a lack of clarity. At this point, cosmologist Dr. Katie Mack has chosen to offer her insights into the matter. In order to explain how this could be occurring, she pointed out the fact that the JWST has been providing evidence of galaxies that seem to have originated or matured much earlier than what scientists had anticipated from their models. Do not worry, as Mac pointed out, the telescope is capturing images of galaxies over 13 billion light years away, and they are somewhat blurry. It seems like there hasn't even been enough time since the Big Bang for these big galaxies to have formed, according to the dates that cosmologists have been receiving from the telescope. Many in the field were concerned that this cast doubt on various theories, including dark matter and the Big Bang, but we should go further into the evidence to find out for sure. The telescope captures breathtaking views of close nebulae, but fuzzy little dots when it comes to faraway galaxies. The reason is that different colors are affected by different parts of the light spectrum. The Webb telescope can detect light from a source in two different ways. It may utilize a spectrum by spreading out the light with a spectrograph, which works a bit like a prism, and examining the brightness of each color, or it can use filters that block all but a select range of colors. They can then calculate the redshift of the galaxy by comparing this data with spectra predicted for galaxies with the same characteristics. What this redshift informs us is the exact instant in cosmic history that we are viewing it. It turns out that many galaxies have an excess of stars or stars that were too young when they would have lived, according to comparisons of model spectra. There are a number of possible explanations for this. The photometric readings might have been off because of problems with a telescope's calibration. Alternatively, they may have been observed in a cluster of galaxies that is not representative of the norm or extremely tiny areas of the sky. Another possible explanation is that galaxy spectrum models are designed for closer galaxies, which don't work well with galaxies further away. On the other hand, cosmologists would face the thrilling prospect of having to totally rethink cosmic evolution if those galaxies are indeed extremely large and earlier estimations were incorrect. Wouldn't you agree? but it's hardly the only area where scientists have fallen short. Despite technological progress, planets that are actually too large to exist have experts very perplexed. None more so than the finding of a planet that is deemed too massive for its sun has prompted a reevaluation of our collective understanding of planet creation and solar system architecture, as well as the models developed by astronomers. In the aftermath, a planet that is 13 times as huge as Earth has been found. According to research out of Penn State, legend has it that this planet is in a planetary system around the ultracool stone star LHS 3154, a star that is nine times less massive than our sun. According to a news statement, the dwarf star has a mass ratio 100 times higher than Earth's ratio to the sun. Prior to recently witnessing it for themselves, scientists did not believe such a scenario was feasible. But new evidence shows that the largest planet in our solar system is really orbiting one of the universe's smallest and coolest stars, an ultra-cool dwarf. We still know very little about the cosmos, and this finding proves it even more. 
a planet of this mass orbiting a star with such a low mass defies our expectations. These stars may have originated in massive gas and dust clouds. Planets may arise from the gas and dust that remain in the disk of material around the newborn star. After this, it is not anticipated that the planet-forming disk surrounding the low-mass star LHS 354 contains sufficient solid mass to produce this planet. However, it exists, thus we must now reconsider our theories regarding stellar and planetary formation. A good analogy would be to compare the star to a campfire. In order to maintain your body temperature, you must get nearer to the fire as its temperature decreases. Planets are no different. Planets are subject to gravitational forces just as we are to a campfire's warmth. The planet must be much closer to the star in order to obtain enough gravity to maintain its orbit since it is considerably lower in mass and cools much more quickly than a star of large mass. Our understanding of planetary formation and evolution may need to be revised in light of the discovery of this large planet, which was discovered around a low-mass star that was previously thought to be an unlikely host. Although planets with diameters up to 12 times that of Jupiter have been discovered by scientists, the more we learn about space, the more we are forced to reconsider what we previously thought to be true. It has always been the aim of astronomers to comprehend how everything works in space, and the Webb Telescope may ultimately provide the missing pieces. The James Webb Space Telescope is actively observing Jupiter's moon Europa for signs of life in our solar system. The second Galilean satellite has long been considered one of the most probable places to host life beyond Earth. Although it is icy, scientists believe there is a huge subterranean ocean there, and the ice shell of Europa is even more fascinating. In addition to surface fractures and a chaotic surface environment resembling the Arctic, the ice shell has huge plumes of water vapor emerging from it. It appears that the plumes originate in the ocean. Scientists will investigate the surface's properties and chemical makeup in detail using the infrared capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope. Given the chance to search for the chemical signatures of life on Europa, Webb will be able to look for plumes erupting from the surface. When astronomers discover intriguing chemistry, that is the first indicator that there is the possibility of life. It is anticipated that the JWST will yield many more unforeseen results in addition to these astounding discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, often referred to as Webb, has revolutionized our understanding of the universe with its unprecedented observations of stars, planets, galaxies, and other cosmic wonders. Celebrated as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, Webb has provided the scientific community with an unparalleled tool for exploration. People worldwide are sharing its images and analyzing its raw data to generate new insights. Since its first historic image was unveiled a year ago, the JWST has continued to astonish astronomers with its detailed observations. Its most recent image, a hauntingly beautiful view of the cosmos, has left scientists with more questions than answers. Join us as we delve into the JWST's capture of one of the most remarkable images in history. Just one month after its initial images were released, the JWST revealed new details about star formation, galaxy mergers, and the early universe. These images were stunning, showing the universe with breathtaking clarity. Since then, the JWST's discoveries have multiplied, providing an enormous trove of data. Among its documented observations are cosmic tarantulas, record-breaking space smoke, stars on the brink of supernova explosions, and other extraordinary celestial objects. The telescope's cutting-edge technology allows us to see further into space than ever before, unveiling previously hidden details about the cosmos. To commemorate the JWST's first year of operation, NASA released an image of a small star-forming region in the Rho Afyuki Cloud Complex. This picture shows jets erupting from newborn stars amidst colorful cosmic dust clouds. The red dust, composed of molecular hydrogen, casts shadows on several stars due to the presence of circumstellar disks, hinting at potential planet formation. The scene may seem chaotic, but NASA describes this stellar nursery as small and serene compared to others. Many young stars in this region are about the size of our sun or even smaller, making it the closest star-forming region to Earth. This image was captured by the JWST's near-infrared camera, which photographs cosmic scenes in two distinct infrared spectrums simultaneously. 
the JWST has also advanced our understanding of exoplanets, worlds orbiting stars other than our Sun. It excels in observing large, distant galaxies and has discovered its first exoplanet, LHS 475b, at the beginning of 2023. Located 41 light years away, this planet has a diameter similar to Earth's. According to NASA, the JWST is the only operational telescope capable of characterizing the atmospheres of Earth-sized exoplanets. The findings highlighted the telescope's precision and opened a new frontier for astronomers studying rocky exoplanets. Moreover, the JWST has detected ancient galaxies that theoretically shouldn't exist. EVO Lab of Swinburne University and his international team discovered six massive old galaxies, termed universe breakers, which could revolutionize our understanding of space. These galaxies might have formed between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang. The JWST's infrared sensors allow us to look back around 13.5 billion years, showing much older stars and galaxies. The immense size of the universe breakers has puzzled scientists, as early universe galaxies should be 10 to 100 times smaller. These galaxies could be billions of times heavier than our Sun, with one galaxy's stars potentially 100 billion times heavier than our Sun. This discovery challenges our understanding of galaxy formation in the early universe. Joel Leha, an assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University and co-author of the study, expressed his surprise at discovering a new category of objects formed at the Big Bang. This finding suggests that massive galaxy formation began much earlier than previously thought, challenging many established scientific theories. Spectrometry is still needed to validate these results, but if accurate, galaxy formation must have been more efficient and rapid than what is now thought. The fact that spectra corroborated our standard operating systems-based inferences from the visuals is promising. 